Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss uh, uh, a very important uh, question on regression often asked in uh, data analytics uh, interviews. The question is like this, how can you compare uh, the regression coefficients between two groups? The regression equation is like this, uh, we are trying to predict uh, income based on the years of education and we are trying to uh, compare uh, how the estimates uh, you know the slope coefficient uh, is different for male and female if at all there is a difference okay so how do how do you compare so what is beta 1 beta 1 is nothing but your marginal marginal effect right if you uh, take the first uh, derivative of income um, with respect to education you will get beta 1 that means uh, change in education um, what is the um, you know impact of or what is the effect of uh, change in education uh, on income that's given by beta 1 so is it different from male and female populations so that's what is the question all right so let's write out uh, the equations uh, for male and female population differently so we have got uh, let's say we have you know estimated uh, the equations for female and male populations separately uh, by using a by statement so we have got income equal to 5.6 plus 2.3 into number of years of education so the beta 1 in this case is 2.3 for female it's uh, income equal to 6.4 plus 3.9 uh, of education so beta 1 is 3.9 now it clearly says that 3.9 is greater than 2.3 but we cannot conclude uh, about the fact that um, the marginal effect uh, um, of education for female population is higher than the marginal effect of the male population and income that's not correct because these are a statistical esti estimates we cannot simply uh, give a judgment uh, just by looking at the numbers we have to do something known as hypothesis testing so what is the hypothesis testing in this case well the hypothesis testing would go like this we have the null hypothesis as the beta parameter or the slope coefficient for male population and the beta parameter for female po population are both same and the alternative hypothesis is that it's otherwise that means uh, it's not the same all right so how, how do we uh, you know test this hypothesis now if your uh, null hypothesis gets rejected we can say for sure that you know there is a difference and we can say for sure that uh, you know um, they, are, they have different uh, impact on uh, a different marginal impact. So for, for that we have to use a dummy variable and we'll use that dummy variable uh, to test the interaction effect. So how do we do that? So we define it with dummy variable, we can name it anything, I have just named it as female uh, which will take one if the population or the observation is uh, from female category it's going to take uh, zero if it is a male category observation right um, and then we'll define an interaction uh, by using this dummy now this is a dummy variable right because it takes one and zero so we take an interaction so what is interaction interaction is nothing but uh, you know multiplying the dummy variable with one of your independent variables so we have multiplied female with education which is the independent variable so this is the interaction term right so we'll use the dummy variable and the interaction term in the uh, regression equation and re-estimate it okay so our new regression equation is like this income um, independent variable education and then we have got a dummy variable female that we have defined here and then we have the interaction term defined over here all right when we estimate uh, all we need to see is uh, the beta 3 beta 3 okay if beta 3 is significant if it is significant it says that the estimates uh, for estimate uh, for male and estimate for female are different or they have a different marginal impact if it is not significant we can say that the null hypothesis gets uh, accepted and they both are same so there is no difference okay so that's the way you compare two estimates from two different groups
question is if there are more than two different groups how will you do it okay so let's just take the same example except the fact that we need to have you know more than two groups in this case so we have got more than two groups so we have got observations from different countries us uk and india so we've got more than two groups we have got three groups in particular it can be extended to four groups five groups uh, and even more so in that case we'll be needing if we have got n groups we'll be needing n minus one dummies you know if you're familiar with using dummy variable you know that if you have n number of uh, groups n number of categories you would be needing n minus one number of dummy to represent uh, all the categories right so we define d1 dummy one as you know it takes one if it is us if the observation is from us it takes uh, a zero otherwise whether uk or india it has to be zero if it is not us similarly we define d2 as one if the observation is from uk and d2 is zero if otherwise all right so we've got two dummies so we'll obviously have two interaction variables right so we define interaction one as education into dummy one interaction two as education into dummy uh, two and now uh, pretty much the way we used uh, for the first uh, case where we, we had only two groups we'll use uh, a similar approach we'll re-estimate the equation with income as the dependent variable and independent variable um, is education and we have got the dummy ones and we have got the uh, interaction variables all you need to look at is uh, b4 and b5 okay so how do we uh, interpret interpretation is slightly trickier in this case now if beta 4 is um, significant so what does beta 4 says okay us being compared to uk and india right now we can say that the uh, marginal uh, effect uh, of us population um, with increase in education and income is different from what is there in uk and india now what if a beta 5 is non-significant or it's not significant so how, how can we interpret that we can say that um, the uh, the uh, marginal effect uh, of UK population would be very similar to what you can find in US and uh, in India. Well, that would be uh, a contrast. That would be contrast because here you can say that the US, uh, the marginal effect of US is actually different from that of UK and India. Whereas if this comes uh, insignificant, you, 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 will, you will conclude that the marginal effect of uh, UK population on your dependent variable is um, similar to what uh, you're getting in US and India. Why is it so? This is so because we are trying to do it differently. So we need to understand how is your null, null hypothesis going to be. So your null hypothesis is not, you know, your, your null hypothesis is not like, you know, beta of uh, US equal to beta of uk or otherwise beta of uk or beta of india and then beta of india with beta of us that's not the case in this case if you do that you will be confused so all you need to do is that just use beta of us equal to beta of uk is equal to beta of india okay and then the alternative is otherwise In that case, you will you will get either both the coefficients significant or both the coefficients insignificant, and then it will be easy for us to interpret, right? Either they will be different, or at least one of them would be. Uh, sorry, either they will be uh, either either they will be same. So that's null hypothesis, or at least one of them is different from the other. Okay. So that's the otherwise, okay. So otherwise could be like one of them, right? May not uh, all three may not be uh, all three may not be the case, okay. So that's the way you compare uh, more than uh, two uh, 
categories or two groups. You can extend this to four groups, five groups and so on. Of course, the interpretation will be slightly uh, more complicated uh, compared to uh, a two group uh, comparison because in that case, you might wonder one thing here is that fine, you know, it's uh, in, in case we accept the alternative hypothesis, how do we interpret? Because when the null hypothesis is accepted, it's very easy uh, to interpret. But when it comes to, um, you know, accepting this uh, alternative hypothesis, or rejecting your null hypothesis, it becomes a little more difficult to uh, interpret because um, you, you will have cases where you know you have just uh, you know one uh, two groups not equal to each other, but there are many other groups who will be similar, right? So that will be another uh, you know step uh, of your study. Um, so that's about comparing um, you know um, estimates across different groups. And uh, so all you need to uh, all you need to understand here is that uh, you, you need to um, uh, take the help of dummy variable and interaction terms uh, while uh, you know trying to understand uh, the uh, marginal effect of uh, different groups on your dependent variables. For more such videos, please uh, subscribe to us and you can contact us uh, through our email ID. Thank you.